Good morning, everyone. This is Yung Ju Bang, the president of APCTP. Since 2012, every year the APCTP is selecting the recipient of Benjamin Lee Professorship Award who has made the most outstanding advances in theoretical physics. This prestigious award was created in honor of Korea's foremost theoretical physicist, late Benjamin Lee, wishing to continue his legacy in theoretical physics. The Asia Pacific Center for Theoretical Physics is the nation's first international theoretical physics institute established in Korea in 1996. The APCTP has launched the Benjamin Lee Professorship Award to remember and continue the legacy of the late Professor Benjamin Huiso Lee, who was born in Korea and has made a foundational contribution to the elementary particle physics of the 20th century. The renormalization theory of the quantum gauge fields proposed by Professor Benjamin Lee became the founding stone of the standard model of the modern particle theory and has influenced numerous particle physicists all over the world. Since 2012, Benjamin Lee Professorship Program serves as a platform to recognize the most brilliant physicists from all countries who have made prominent contributions to the advance of theoretical physics. The recipients are invited to the APCTP to stay for an extended period to share their scientific achievement and stimulate scientific exchange with other researchers through various academic activities such as plenary talk and lecture series and participate in the public education program. In particular, the young generation will have an ample opportunity to hear their wisdom, how they have built up scientific ambitions and ultimately achieve great success. Since its establishment, this program has awarded 10 renowned physicists around the world. It is time now to find out who is this year's recipient of Benjamin Lee Professorship. Today, I am very pleased to announce the 2021 recipient of Benjamin Lee Professorship, Professor Hiroshi Oguri. His outstanding contributions in superstring theory and quantum black hole was recognized for this selection. Please join me celebrating his honor Thank you all for your attendance. Your Professor Hiroshi Oguri, Korean Physical Society members, and other attendees. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you to this special ceremony of the Benjamin Lee Professorship. KPS organized this plenary talk in close collaboration with the APCTP. This is in keeping with our KPS tradition to recognize and celebrate excellency. Using this opportunity, I want to congratulate Professor Guri for receipt of this award. I also hope that this event will be continued to future opportunities for the young KPS members to interact with the world caliber theoretical physicists. Thank you very much for your attention and please enjoy it. Professor Hiroshi Oguri from California Institute of Technology. For his development of key mathematical framework to understand quantum field theory string theory, and quantum gravity. The award comes with a prize money of 10,000 U.S. dollars. 
I am profoundly honored to be named this year's Benjamin Lee Professor. Dr. Benjamin Lee was a pioneer in theoretical methods in gauge theory, and he played a central role in the construction and confirmation of the standard model of particle physics. When I was a graduate student, I learned quantization of non-Averian gauge theory by reading his famous review article and the legendary lecture notes at the Lejus Summer School. These were my first exposure to modern quantum field theory techniques. I am therefore humbled to receive this honor named after him. I'd like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to my teachers, collaborators, and friends for helping me make contributions in theoretical physics. I'd like to thank my parents for encouraging me to pursue my career in science, and my wife Kyoko for her support. Professor Hiroshi Oguri is a researcher in quantum field theory, quantum gravity, and string theory. He is Fred Kavli Professor and the founding director of the Institute for Theoretical Physics at Caltech. And he is also the director of the Kavli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe in Japan. He received the Medal of Honor with Purple Ribbon from the Emperor of Japan, Leonard Eisenbud Prize from the American Mathematical Society, Humboldt Research Award, and Hamburg Prize in Germany, Nishina Memorial Prize, and Simon's Investigator Award. He is also a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. In the summer of 1984, when I entered the graduate school in Kyoto, I heard a rumor that a great discovery was made in the Rocky Mountains, in the town of Aspen, Colorado. It was a discovery of anomaly cancellation mechanism by Michael Green and John Schwartz, which triggered the first superstring revolution. Since I was interested in both the microscopic world of elementary particles and the macroscopic world of gravity, I was immediately drawn to the possibility of unifying them using the superstring theory. As the director of the Kavli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe, he is overseeing projects in experimental physics and observational astronomy, as well as leading research in theoretical physics and mathematics. My aim in research is to discover the fundamental laws of nature and to use them to solve mysteries of our universe. As we explore more and more fundamental aspects of nature, our path forward becomes narrower and narrower I'm working to overcome mathematical challenges in building a consistent theoretical framework to unify general relativity and quantum mechanics. Hiroshi Oguri was born in 1962 in the city of Kifu, Japan. He studied physics at Kyoto University. After finishing his graduate study in two years, he became a tenured faculty member at the University of Tokyo at the age of 24 and was appointed as a visiting professor of the KAIST in the following year. In 1995, at the age of 32, he became the youngest full professor of physics at the University of California, Berkeley. In 2000, he moved to the California Institute of Technology. He was elected the president of the Aspen Center for Theoretical Physics in 2016 and is currently the chair of the board of trustees of the center. It is a wonderful gift that we can discover fundamental facts about the world by observing it and analyzing it using the scientific method. When you make a discovery in science, you are adding a brick to the edifice of knowledge that humans have been building for over a thousand years. You can discover something that nobody knew before and it opens a new vista for you and the process is intellectually demanding and satisfying. I feel very lucky to be a scientist, and I'd like to make the best of the opportunity given to me. Professor Hiroshi Oguri is actively involved in promoting basic science and supporting young scientists in the Asia region. 
We asked him to give a few words to the students and young scientists who just started their career in research. In my career, I have had the fortune to meet and work with amazing people. I learned a lot from them. Based on these experiences, I think there are three important attributes for a successful researcher. The first is the ability to identify problems. Problem must be challenging and important, but they should also be solvable within a reasonable length of time. To find good problems, you need to study both deeply and broadly and acquire good perspective on your field. The second is to have the ability to solve these problems. This is of course necessary. That being said, there are times when you need to jump into a program, even if you are not ready, and learn new techniques as you tackle the problem. The third is the perseverance to keep working, even if no immediate path forward can be seen. Hideki Yukawa, the first Nobel laureate in Japan, wrote that a researcher is a traveler without a map. Important discoveries are often made when projects don't go as planned. A heartfelt congratulations to Professor Hiroshi Oguri, this year's Benjamin Lee Professorship.